Despite the outside world grinding to a halt around us, one social activity is surprisingly thriving in the midst of quarantine living. Dating apps are reporting a 20 to 30% increase in daily conversations between users. So what are people doing if they aren't meeting up in person? Well, exactly what we're doing in every other aspect of our lives, video chatting. Match.com, for example, has launched an in-app video chat feature, which allows users to get together for virtual dates. Hinge, one of Match Group's many other dating apps, is also encouraging users to meet on the app before moving over to FaceTime for a little FaceTime. Pre-pandemic, only 6% of daters were willing to experiment with video dating. Now that figure is closer to 70%. When asked to choose between video dates or no dates at all, single folks have made their choice. People still need to connect in this time of loneliness and uncertainty. Just as the app developers are getting creative, so are the users. OkCupid okay reported that new matches have been connecting to watch old concerts together on YouTube, to build playlists together, to work out together, even to draw pictures of each other. One man in Brooklyn used the delivery app Drizzly to have some bottles delivered for a wine tasting first date. Not needing to physically meet your date has opened some new doors. With a younger demographic, Tinder is one of the apps that's built a reputation for promoting hookup culture. But some experts think the age of quarantine may be changing that. Taking physical encounters off the table may help people build more serious emotional connections. What happens after the quarantine is anyone's guess. While we're all craving real life interaction, a phased in approach back to society may mean that video dating sticks around. But for now, app activity is thriving. On Sunday, March 29th, Tinder registered 3 billion swipes, the most on any individual day in the entire history of the app. It makes sense. With so many people at home experiencing isolation, boredom, and anxiety, folks need an outlet. An old Pearl Jam show with a new friendly face sounds pretty good right about now. Never thought we'd ever play for this many people. Now, did someone say something about wine tasting? I, I've been on a lot of vacations in my life, and since we can't really travel right now, I'm gonna show you how to have a vacation in your house. This is called a double staycation. I booked one week in Paris, France. Now it's time to enjoy it. Paris has never been more beautiful. I've got my baguette, my butter, a little bit of wine. Cheers. I'll be down here for one week. What about us? Just got back from a week in Paris, and boy, is my back bothering me. And now I'm going to do two whole weeks in a tall, tall tower in Tokyo, Japan. This staycation just got a lot better, and I have just got all the essentials. I've got my uh, my tea. I've got... Oh, shoot. I've got sushi. I don't know how I'm going to open it, but I'll figure it out. Whoa! Is that four-time Prime Minister Shinzo Abe? I think it is. Konnichiwa, just got back from two weeks in Japan. I'd love to actually be home for about a day or two, sleep my own bed. I'm gonna keep on pushing forward. Buckle up, we're heading to Hawaii. I'm thinking about going in the water, but we'll see. Where the hell have you been? I was doing like a- um, Where have you been? I was on a vac- I, 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 I was you for like a freaking three weeks. I know, I was doing like a double staycation thing. I was under the table, I was- no, I know, I know. I, I was, I just got back. I literally just got back. I needed you to be in your home helping your family. I was home. I was doing a double staycation. I was here the whole time. Are you insane? 